A lot's going on. We've got Chris Johnston. We have John Shannon. They're both working the room right now. Uh, guys, some teams, they're, they're dipping their toe into the free agent pool. Others, though, are making a splash. We saw that list of five players, the top five out there. We, we know the Tavares thing is still cloudy, but we do have some news on Paul Stastny. What is that? Yes, David uh, Pierce, he's going to the Vegas Golden Knights. And you might look at this because he is by far the best centerman available after John Tavares and wonder why would Paul Stastny sign this deal before Tavares has made his decision? I mean, there's teams in the Tavares hunt that still haven't heard uh, where he's going. And the reason for that is simple. Mm. Uh, it sounds like his three-year deal is going north of $6 million. Uh, that's where the bidding is at, perhaps as high as $7 million a year, although we haven't yet confirmed that number. And, uh, you know, it's an opportunity for him to, to go to a team he saw firsthand in the playoffs. Uh, the Vegas Golden Knights in a tax-friendly state, too. I tell you what, the one thing that interests me about that is, is if that's the case and $7 million or close is the number, what do the Vegas Golden Knights do for their own restricted free agent in William Carlson for a number when you consider he needs a new contract? Uh, and the other thing is, as Darren mentioned, I think a lot of us assumed that the Winnipeg Jets were going to be in the mix completely on Stastny uh, when they cleared all the space uh, with the Armia trade to Montreal. Uh, meanwhile, James Van Riemsdyk, uh, there's another big fish who's found a home. In fact, it's a return home for him. Uh, some big news there, and that's a big deal. It is. Well, $7 million annual cap hit is a little higher than I think even James Van Riemsdyk himself thought during this season that he would be able to get mm. in free agency. There was never any discussions with the Toronto Maple Leafs, at least meaningful discussions on a return there. So he's had some time to get prepared for this. Uh, had a lot of interest when the free agent period opened. And, you know, Philadelphia is a place uh, where he feels very comfortable, not far from where he grew up in, in New Jersey. And uh, to get that contract, only a little bit less than the, the seven times six million dollar deals we saw uh, two summers ago, some of which teams already regret uh, is a big win for JVR. Yeah, 36 goals. So 13th in the league. That's what uh, lands you that kind of money. Meanwhile, James Neal, what's going on here? Back to back Stanley Cup final appearances. What's happening with James Neal? Plenty of action on James Neal. I would not be surprised to see him return to Vegas and the Golden Knights. There's a lot of attraction there. They, they still need some goal scoring. They're going to lose David Perron back to St. Louis today at some point. But James Neal could be the goal scorer still that re is required for Gerard Gallant's team. That said, there's plenty of action on the big goal on the right winger today across the league. Yeah, 10 straight 20 goal seasons for James Neal. He's obviously a very coveted player. Has not found a home officially, though, yet today here on Canada Day.